All right, so we got the moon and Taurus, and we got the sun and Pisces. Now, when we got the sun and Pisces, this is mutable water. So you're going to be mutable in your ways of dealing with how you feel, deal with your passion, your compassion about people, your sympathy, and your dreams, your illusions. And you know we got the moon and Taurus. So, of course, we're going to be reacting and responding to ways of practicality, structure, stability, home, comfort, security. Now, when we got these two, this is an opportunity. But, of course, you have an opportunity to develop a demon or you have an opportunity to release a demon. Because you already know, moon and Taurus, moon is exalted here. So, it may go to the extreme. And, of course... Venus is exalted in Pisces, so it may go to the extremes there when it comes to dreams, illusions, fantasies, and of course, the imagination. But of course, also, you don't want to put yourself in a circumstance situation of planting bad seeds. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be picking up circumstances and situations where you're going to see things which you should be releasing and getting rid of. Now, it's going to be very hard because Moon and Taurus is a fixed sign. So it's fixated in its own way of thinking and being practical and dealing with its deep desires. So, of course, it's exalted here because the moon is here because the moon loves being here. So it may be very hard to accept certain facts. Now, if you planted bad seeds when this new moon presented itself, you're going to be developing desirable demons or you're going to develop a Satan that you should basically be getting rid of. And you're always going to have the keys and the options to get rid of these beans that you don't no longer want to observe. Now, it's up to you to take on these responsibilities. Because if you allow these demons to grow, you're going to be developing frustrations. You're going to be developing limitations. And you're going to be developing ties, a.k.a. soul ties. So you may go to the extreme. You may go to the extremes. You don't want that. Mercury just got into Pisces. So you don't want to get caught up in illusions and things of that nature. You want to make sure you're creating a, a truly desire, a truly passion that you should basically be utilizing. Now, let's get into these energies real fast. We got the sun conjunct Venus. So this is expressing the way we love and truly desire. You know what I'm saying? This is the way we're going to be developing our expressions on how we present ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Love. You know what I'm saying if we we're gonna go to the extremes too, you feel me? We're gonna go to the extremes because of course we got Sun and Pisces and of course conjuncting Venus. Now Venus is still in Pisces, so this is an exaltation. So we may go to the extremes of loving a person, place, and thing. Try not to get lost into an illusion, and everything will be fine. We got Sun is sextile Pluto, so we're gonna be expressing transformational changes when it comes to our actions and the way we are developing ourselves so we're going to be coming up with a new outlook on how it would feel to go for deeply passions and motivations that we're really truly striving for and you got opportunities to transform yourself and the universe will always show you examples on what you should be doing so check where your son is at check where your house is at and of course utilize that and of course you will check where your pluto at so you can develop ways on how to see how you can transform certain shit also, we got Moon Square, Saturn. So this is learning how to deal with our emotions when it comes to conflict. This is learning how to deal with um, emotional responsibilities. <clears throat> it may not be very easy doing these things, but of course, it's going to be some opposite when it comes to our responsibilities. Our feelings and emotions may be telling us one thing. And of course, Saturn is telling us, yo, you should take care of your responsibilities. Saturn is breathing on your ass. Saturn is going to be breathing on your motherfucking neck. So if you need to take care of your responsibilities, you're going to develop guilt, worry. And of course, these things going to create shape and form and develop its way in your life. Because sun is in Pisces. So whatever's on your mind and your heart space and your feelings and emotions is what you're creating on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, we got moon conjunct Uranus. So of course, this is um emo this is extreme. Um, extreme alienation. You know what I'm saying we may be developing new ways when it comes to changes and dealing with our feelings and emotions. You know what I'm saying we may have to rebel against someone or something or house issues, home issues, private issues, family issues. We also got Venus sextile Pluto. So this is opportunities to love deeply about something or someone. Um, so of course, this is the opportunity. This is also, this is another opportunity for you to basically get deep deeply into your desires so be aware of these things 
Also, we got Mars sextile Chiron, so that's the opportunities to take the lead when it comes to expressing or leading. You know what I'm saying? You may have to be a leader. You may have to be a leader during this time because ain't no real leaders out here. So you gonna, you may have to be a real leader. So you may have to get in your bag and, and lead by example. Or the universe going to have to present itself in its own way of developing these things. Also, we got... This, we also got Saturn and Square Uranus. So this is learning how to be um, self-governed. So you need to learn how to self-govern yourself. Because the only way you going to be exceeding and, of course, proceeding and developing progress is by you coming up with your own ways of being practical and forming your own unique status. You're not relying on anything or anyone else to do these things. We are moving a new time, so you have to get with the program. Also, we got Saturn sextile Chiron. So this is the opportunities to start being more grounded, being more structured when it comes to being stable and, of course, being practical. We also got Sun conjunct Neptune. So we're going to be expressing compassion and sympathy when it comes to um, spirituality or religious. We're going to be seeing a whole lot of religion, a whole lot of people expressing themselves, trying not to get in. Try not to get caught up into any religious programs and things of that nature because it can put you in a box or a square where you're going to get lost for another 2,000 years and you don't want to get lost for another 2,000 years. We are in a new time right now. So you need to, you need to develop your own... Um, you need to develop your own... Um, you need to develop your own system or de develop your own genesis. Also, we got... Moon sex out Mercury. So this is opportunities to take our feelings and our emotions and connect them with our intellect. So of course the moon is in Taurus and of course Mercury is in Pisces. So this is a sex tile when it comes to um fantasies, illusions, so whatever's on your um heart space is gonna connect, it's gonna start to develop, it's gonna start to be midis and it's gonna take structure and shape and form in your life because whatever's on your mind and on your heart space is what you're developing and creating. So once you know that shit, you will know what to be, what seeds to be planted during the sun when it comes to that. Also, we got um, Venus conjunct Neptune. So this is extreme love affairs when it comes to relating, compromising. And of course, we're going to be picking up the feelings and emotions of the world on a general basis. Also, we got Mars trying Saturn. So this is the gift to express compassion when it comes to your goals. And it becomes to um, develop and structure in your life. Also, we got Sun conjunct Chiron. So basically, this is expressing ways on how to heal and open up during this time. So if you got a lot of, you got any healing going on, you need to, got any trauma going on inside of you, this is the time to express it and push it out and not hold it inside of you. Because when you hold things inside, things start to become a volcano. volcano eruption you don't want things to erupt you want things to get out erupt out of you not erupt inside of you or well, you're going to transform a vessel or you might pop something mercury square mars learn how to think passionately so we're going to be learning how to think compassionately mars is in gemini mercury is in um pisces so this is a square so may we're going to be dealing with learning process when it comes to um developing our own ways of thinking and not being too surface or shadow or drive. Now let's get into the houses. If you got um Taurus in your first house, you're gonna be um valuing your personality. But of course, if you're not value if you plant the bad seeds, you're gonna be the, you're gonna be developing fear, worry, anger, and things of that nature. It might play out into a circumstance situation where you may find a demon or devil in your personality or a personal affair or a circumstance situation. When you're dealing with your deep desires. Now, if you got this in the second house, you're gonna be valuing. You're gonna be valuing um the good. You're gonna be valuing good things or bad things, depending on what kind of seeds you plant. If you if you plant the bad seeds, you're gonna be you're gonna be realizing the things and people, places, and things that you was valuing are not um gonna be going with you. You need to start to cut ties with this. Or if you don't cut ties, you're gonna develop more demon seeds and things that you value may start to disappear. Also, when you got this in the third house, you may be valuing the wrong surroundings, the wrong presences, the wrong, the wrong circumstances and situations. 
that you shouldn't be valuing. You know what I'm saying? So, so you may put yourself in a circumstance situation where you may, you may be valuing the wrong the wrong circumstances or the wrong people during this time, but you shouldn't be putting yourself there. You may be taking risks, trying not to take a risk. You may put you may risk losing everything that you have just for just for um pot of beans, something that's not really truly missed for. So try not to put yourself in that circumstance situation. Now you got this in your fourth house, depending on what kind of seeds you was planting. You're gonna be if you were playing good seeds, you're gonna be valuing and seeing the demons when it comes to your private emotions, private family and private home matters. Now if you planted bad seeds, these things are gonna, are gonna be here. Or, or gonna, they're gonna be attaching towards you, and you need to start to um, cut ties on this time. When you got this in your fifth house, you're gonna be expressing you either you're gonna be expressing demons, or people around you is gonna be expressing demons towards you, because you may get lost into convict, convicting yourself or caring too much about what other people saying. Try not to do that. If you got this in your sixth house, you're gonna be valuing. Um, Routine, status, and um, health. Now, you may be the demon, or you may be developed demon. De you may be developing demons when it comes to your health, routine, or pattern. Or demon might be in your um, daily routines. Try not to put yourself in that circumstance situation. When you got this in your seventh house, whoever you relate to may be the demon, or you may be the demon towards them. Or you may um, put yourself in a circumstance situation of relating with the wrong people and the wrong things. Don't do that. Eighth house, when it comes to um, desires, you may be valuing the wrong desires. You may be valuing the wrong circumstances and situations. Try not to put, put yourself in a circumstance situation where you may have to kill your family for stimulus money or you may have to go crazy or go to the extreme just because nobody ain't paying up or coming out of pocket. You try not to put yourself in that negative circumstance and situation. You don't want to be the motherfucker that was, that was on TV. When it comes to ninth house, you're going to be valuing philosophical points of views and you're going to be valuing experiences now if you was bad if you was playing bad seeds you're going to be valuing the wrong experiences and you're going to be finding circumstances and situations when it comes to things you value you may not be interested in these things at all these things might just start to appear like they ain't truly what they say they be and of course you don't want that so make sure you're valuing the right things and make sure you're being more practical and more reasonable 10th house you may be valuing the wrong status or you may be valuing the wrong things during this time when it comes to your um, goals and shit. You may lose faith in your status. You may lose faith in your goals. And you're going to be your own demon because you're going to be harmed by guilt and worry. Take care of your responsibilities. Everything will be right. When it comes to your status and basically being practical and whatever you have to offer to the world. 11th house, you're going to be valuing um, the wrong associates. And of course, you may go to the extremes when it comes to your health. Try not to do that if you plant a bad seed. But if you plant a good seed, these things will grow like blossom. And last but not least, 12th house, Pisces. You'll be valuing the wrong dreams. And of course, you may give up or you may lose faith and compassion. Try not to do that. Now, Aries, sons, you're going to be seeing the other side when it comes to um, expressing your um, personality. And of course, you may not even really, like, tourists don't really do good here. So it may be a circumstance situation where you don't really truly govern or be entitled to um, practicality. And Moon and Aries, you're going to be receiving as Taurus sons. You're going to be an example on what to do. Moon and um, Taurus, you're going to be receiving other people's on how they should be expressing what you should be doing. Gemini's, you're going to be seeing the other side when it comes to communication and um, stability. Moon and Gemini's, you're going to be receiving this. Cancers, you're going to have opportunity. Try not to go to the extreme. When expressing your love and compassion towards other people, places, and things. More than cancers, you're going to be receiving love and nurturing. Uh, Leo's, you're going to be learning how to express yourself and not to, to be caught up into the um, cloth of other people or feel, feeling unvulnerable during this time. More than Leo's, you're going to be um, receiving this. Virgo's, you got an opportunity, you got um, a gift to express yourself in a more practical and a more sensible way. More than Virgo's, you're going to be receiving this energy back. Libras, you're going to be dealing with misunderstandings when it comes to relating. And, of course, um, Moon and Libras, Moon and Libras, you're going to be receiving that, too. Scorpios, you're going to be dealing with conflict when it comes to desires and things. Try not to go to the extremes. Moon and Scorpios, you're going to be receiving that. Sagittarius, you're going to be dealing with misunderstandings. May go to the extremes. Don't do that. Moon and Sagittarius, you're going to be receiving that. Capricorns, you got a gift to express. Moon and Capricorns, you're going to be receiving that. 
Aquarius, is, this is a learning process for you. And uh, Moon and Aquarius, you're going to be um, receiving learning processes too. And Pisces, you're going to have opportunities to um, deal with a gift when it comes to your dreams and illusions and imaginations. And Moon and Pisces, you're going to be receiving this energy right back at you. Try not to go to the extreme and everything will be at you.